I am Andy, and this is Black Mesa, and this is basically, if you haven't heard about it, this is Half-Life 1, but ported into the Source engine, I believe. And I'll link to the Steam page in the description down below for those that are interested. And I really want to try this, see how it differs from Half-Life 1. I know it definitely looks better, just based off this main menu shot alone. And it's been a while since I played Half-Life 1. I don't remember how long it was, but... As in like the game link, but I I remember some key aspects and I want to I want to see like what parts are different, and what parts actually stay the same. So yeah, let's just dive right into this with the start game. We'll just do Black Mesa inbound. Let's start with the hopefully they'll do the train right, and I want to see how many like uh, small details they'll uh, actually put in. So Black Mesa. All right, so we start up with this iconic train ride. I think it was the first... You know, ooh, there's a lot of detail to it. Yeah, it was like the first uh, game that I played that actually had like an intro like this. To the Black Mesa Transit System. Like all of the other... This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. Like all of the other games I've played the before this... Hey, there's Barney. 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is... 93 degrees. With an estimated high of... 105 the like, Black Mesa compound is I've always at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. Wanted to actually visit all these areas that I passed by when I first saw this intro. And all the all the int all the games I played before I never had like an intro like this. Like Doom never had an intro that I know of that was this in depth. And like all the other games really never had something like this, but I never really played like console games back then, but yeah, it, it was, this was a different experience, and I remember, like, back then, the, this train, it didn't really have any glass windows, this so. This train is inbound from level 3 dormitories to sector C test labs. Let's see if I can, I can change the subtitles a little bit, see if it can, uh, let's see. Can I change the subtitle size, or is it just, is it just what it, 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 I guess it's just what it is. Subtitles dialog only. Let's do closed captions. See if that will be better. Facilities. If your intended destination uh, yeah, I guess, is a I guess it's the same size. area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9, and board a high-security train. Yeah, th this train just gives you- this train ride just gives you a good feel of the game. Although, granted, I didn't, didn't realize- I didn't know what I was getting into, other than what was on, like, the PC box at the time. But yeah, like, back then, the, this train did not have any- Ooh, that's pretty. Like, the- this ride- this whole vehicle transport system did not have any windows, so as it was going forward and, and then as you jump, you, you kept going backwards, and eventually I found my way out, outside and I fell to my death. So that, that was an interesting thing. Alright, train maintenance. Can I zoom in? I do not leave something. Priority seat for people who are disabled, pregnant, or less able to stand. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do all not right. attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, oh, there's the a helicopter. I remember going to this area before. Please stay away from electrified rails 
and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. I don't remember how I got there though. I wish I can zoom in on this. Inbound times. Okay, there, there's like a lot of detail to this. Let's see if I can. Yeah, there's a there's like obviously with the with the updated engine, there's gonna be more detail. But I'm just surprised that like playing this firsthand, how much detail there is. And I know this been caution open pit. Like I, I know how long, or uh, not really how long, but I know this been this has been worked on for uh, quite some time. So it really shows. It it, it doesn't it doesn't look like a half-assed attempt at it. It looks like a solid solid thing and obviously it's on you can buy it on steam too so yeah it's just really crazy to just to experience this i've been wanting to do uh play this for a long time i just haven't got a chance to can i actually pick this i can't pick that up a reminder that the black mesa hazard course in decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. <laughs> yeah, I remember the hazard course as the tutorial. It was that was an interesting uh, tutorial. It, it was completely separate from the game or completely separate from the main story, but yeah, that was, that was an interesting tutorial. It actually taught you a lot of things. Do you from from what I remembered, anyways. Who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our oh, civilian there's recruiting that team. Machine. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. I remember like wanting to pilot one of those. personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. I would hope so. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your a G -Man. safety officer immediately. But I like I like how they talk about the like the radioactive stuff right as we enter a radioactive leak, and you see like a a trapped scientist right there trying to get in, and then the robot getting into the the I didn't I didn't realize that it was this close to the end where that where that uh radioactive leak was. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Okay. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. No, <laughs> I mean... The, uh, when the schedule trams, like... You know, can't. Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. You can't really make the tram go faster. Oh, this is new. Oh man, you cut the ponytail. 
<laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> like the the early concept pictures sketches of Gordon Freeman had a ponytail, I believe. There's a little nod to that. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes. Oh, sure can zoom. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. It's, uh, I think the experiment will run perfectly today, don't you? Of course. Have you seen my coffee cup? Don't be ridiculous. Why do we need... Why do we all have to have your... What? Uh, the glare is, like, blocking the thing. Can I type? Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. So why were you just sitting there? <laughs> Gordon, don't touch that. Go use another computer. Oh, I got pushed. <laughs> Are they actually gonna type or is it just gonna see the same image? Hands off, Buster. I'm expecting a message any minute. Uh, it looks like it's gonna just be the same. It looks like it's gonna be just the same image. Blue screen of death. Gordo, you're on sundial and we need you on stopwatch. Up to it. <laughs> hey, it's happening! Cut it out! What the hell is going on up there? Horoscope was correct. Did someone pull this fire alarm or something? Come on, Gordon. What are you trying to do? Get me into trouble? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Uh, we had a little accident up here, sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, that better be the last accident you have today. Understood? I feel like that's not gonna be the last thing that's gonna happen today. Oh, no. Everything is blue screened. The Bible? Interesting. I'm pretty fast for a scientist. I guess I am kind of late. Seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? <laughs> I've already made plans. Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Yeah, I know how that feels. <laughs> Living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published. And to say nothing of the modern detective Oh, the break room. Morning, champ. Hello. Federal... Man, this is this is showing it like, for I think this is accurate when it actually came out by the time at like in the nineties I think that the the federal minimum wage was like four seventy five, the state thing? minimum wage is like five fifteen or something like that. That uh, and that's crazy how uh, it's much more, much more higher now. Oops, one of this. Ah. What was that for? Well, you can actually damage uh, or hurt people like that. You'll be called on the carpet in no time if you keep this up. Okay. Particle accelerators by generic confectioners. Confections? How is the debugging procedure coming along? Good heavens! What the hell? It's fine. <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. <laughs> yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Cause All right, that was so... Fun. That was you-know-who's lunch. So we got Ram... I, I always love looking at like all the small details. Did I did this in like Doom, up? man. So you got Ramblers, we got Quavers... More ramblers, we got uppercut chips, sea salt and herb, uh, naked fries, more ramblers, it's down here, got 
I wouldn't want to be around when the good doctor rears his head. Fab Ottles. I wouldn't miss this for anything. Yeah. Fit to be tied. Dumbs. Yeah. Uh, these are some interesting Can name you things. The mail server? I got SARS. That's that's a uh, that's a candy bar that you wanna eat and name your candy bar SARS. Let's see. We got break. Wow, break now. There's a interesting. I'm, smug. I'm just better than you. And we got for drinks. We got uh, Mountain Hui. Or that's not mountain. We got also. We also got grape. The orange, generic orange. I'm not smug. I'm just better than you. I wish I can read it, but oh well. Let's continue on. All right. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? I remember like these names on the lockers were indicated like the developers. That worked on it during the original Half-Life. I mean, aside from like Freeman, of course. Or maybe, maybe Freeman too. I don't know. That's adorable. I mess uh, the degree from MIT that I keep in my locker for some reason. All right, and a beaker. Is that the coffee cup that I? The, the person's coffee cup. Uh, rat. No toilet paper. So I guess the HEV and first aid are combined Hello? now? Maybe? Hello? I don't know. Could somebody get me some toilet paper? This is vacant. Why can't I... Why can't I enter? Excuse me. Minor emergency. I'm... Oh, there's toilet paper. Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Yeah, I heard you. How about, uh, paper towel? No? I guess not the paper towel. Oh, well, that is what it is. Wish I can read what these say, but... They're kind of a bit too blurry. Maybe I can zoom in when it's when I have the suit on. Welcome to the HEV. Yep, I can zoom in. Protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. Oh, the music's nice. Oh, there's actually a big overlay for it. That's actually a lot more sensors than I thought there'd be. The music for it. Have a very safe day. I, I'd like to think that once you get this suit, that the the music automatically plays in like some in the same speakers that you're hearing the voice from. How is the debugging procedure coming along? Oh, the this thing didn't even explode though. Then, like in the original, it made a big mess. Oh, I can go. I can actually go in. Wow. Don't count on it. If anything, you'll just have more to do. Observed energy splices from within particle. Okay. I'm sure. I'm sure it all adds up. Listen. Oh, more blue screens. I'm going to explain this to you one more time. If you have a question, 
This, this BMOS application has stopped responding to the system. Half-Life 2 EXE. Press escape to cancel or return to BMOS. Press enter to close this application that is not responding. You will lose any unsaved information in this application. Press control delete again to restart your computer. You will lose any unsaved information in all applications. Press enter for OK or escape to cancel. OK. No. Well, that looks like a problem to me. Uh, good old Windows 98. December. Okay. Like, there's like. Hello, Doctor Cross. Okay. There's so many details that it's pretty. It's so it's so. You can tell that there's like a lot of work put into this. Pretty crazy. Chaos in the two-body problem in a spherical universe. Risk Bravo management research. levels. Okay. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Should want to see what the what the chat said actually. Now that I can zoom in. Corporal Lucas. Corporal Lucas, not Adrian Shepard. Alright, have you seen my coffee cup? Don't be ridiculous. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? I am not all sure. Do you know who ate all the donuts? You'll just have to wait until after the test. So that, it's actually... Is that, no, the, like the... The other person in the break room also had a coffee cup missing too. Interesting. There's a map. Actually, I can't think of anything notable to say, really, which I guess is my fault. Everything is always my fault, after all. Okay. Interesting. Alright, let's go this way. You forgot to carry the weekend. two. Dr. Oh, Gibbons the is coming in to cover for you. Splendid! I haven't missed the New Mexico Comic Convention yet. Yes, soon we will drive our enemies before us. And hear the lamentations of their women! <laughs> Fare thee Let's well, talk about investigations. Oh, these ties. <laughs> I guess everyone's complaining about the ties. I'm sure it adds up. Yep, everyone's talking about the tides. You lost, Ace? Yeah, this is still the wrong airlock. Eh, just wanted to explore. I like the vents have some uh, character to them as well. And there's actually sec the security cams. Nice. Like you, you couldn't have this much, like the technology I feel like wasn't available back then, so couldn't really uh, do all this detail. Or or if you did, then like the, the production time would just take so long. What was this? Oh, I remember these uh, flippy screens. Oh, it's looking to the future. I mean, I guess this if this screen was like actually in the the original Half-Life, then it kind of predicted it because a lot of games in the future after Half-Life was a lot of brown. <laughs> Dusty brown uh, settings. But it is what it is. I think I'm going to end the, this video soon, right before I get to the test chamber. So I might, I might do like 
I might actually play the entire thing. It does, it's, I just want to see like all the differences and all the similarities. It's pretty crazy to think about like all the detail that's put in on all the hard work that's put into this. And, and, and as usual, like I said before, I'll link the Steam page in the description down below. Is that, uh, I remember there was Dr. Vance somewhere down here. I just don't remember where. I think it was like in the room. In this room, maybe? No, not this room. It was, it was like one of the lower rooms. Hello, Freeman. Maybe I'll use like the same model as like the Vance and Kleiner, maybe? Everyone's just leaving their cups. Ah! Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. Are you clean? We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble. Oh, that's the, the room. Resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. Oh. I'll walk you down. Okay. <laughs> Nine oh one has been busy making last minute preparations for the new experiment. Oh, so he is down here. I wasn't just uh Greetings, thinking Eli. things. Oh, he there he is. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon. That sounds like a morning. younger model of him. I'm glad you're here. S sli slightly These younger. These last minute changes. They're a bit strange to just. Oh. <laughs> it's about to go critical. <laughs> what in the blazes is going on with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do this in the first place. <sighs> it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. There's actually a second room after this. That I can't get to. Maybe uh, after when all all things go haywire. Hmm. This could take a bit longer than I anticipated. Maybe this is why uh, the the test didn't work out. Oh, the the level is just right here. By Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. Shouldn't uh, we report that? Or is that just normal? You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. <laughs> Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. Perfunctory, huh? More time for myself. Ha! Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. 25 I years? I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro channel plates. You've uh, worked here for 25 years and you're still complaining. That's dedication, I guess. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. That's a nice screensaver. So smooth. The big yellow book of useful scientific words and phrases. Compiled by C. Wrights. There, no oh, so there's the feature. step right up. The tram that I got off. I was hoping to see the the G man, but I guess not. You you've come all this way. Some VHS tapes. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna save here. See if I can save.
So yeah, this was Black Mesa. A lot of, a lot of small things that were added to make things it feel no completely different. Even sure though, we on having kids. <laughs> like the the, the general, like, I, don't know, I wasn't able to have kids, but like Eli was, but or maybe maybe uh, Eli was able to have kids. But I don't, I can't quite remember the ages off the top of my head, but I guess Eli had it before this. I guess. Yeah, this was Black Mesa. As I said, I'll link to the Steam page in the description below for those that you are know, interested. It does cost money to keep that door open. <laughs> so yeah, uh so next time, uh yeah, there's just there's just so many small details that I really like that show that they really care about making this uh, yeah, Adam, Doc. this game. So yeah, thank you for watching and have a nice day.